hello everybody. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't be there uh, in person to actually um, talk about this wonderful event. But I'm here now. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate that, you know, I'm so far away. Uh, so actually my time is, if you look here, it says it's 4.43 a.m. So I'm pretty far away. I'm in Florida. Normally it's the other way around. Normally it's Uncle Louie calling me from, or texting me saying, it's 82 and sunny in the middle of uh, December. And I hope you guys are having a good time. Meanwhile, I'm freezing my butt off and it's cold as hell. So I'm probably gonna have to say this in a couple of different uh, segments because I don't know if the video is gonna last as long as the things that I need to say. So if I cut off here and there, that's the reason why. Uh, actually, let's try that right now. Okay, I'm back. How did it work out? Did they have trouble pulling this up again? Well, if they did, I don't know what to say. So there's a couple of things that I want to say, and I'm going to keep it as brief as possible. But as, as you know, when you give a skirty a, a mic, um, things can last a while. Those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike Skirty, and I'm Uncle Louie's nephew. Yeah, I know. If you can, Kim, if you can believe it, um, actually not his brother. I am his nephew, despite what he might tell you. So where do I start? Not that long ago, I was at another event for Uncle Louie that I was asked to speak at, um, and that was his retirement party. Here we are again, I don't know how many years later, but now we're at his 50th anniversary in the priesthood. So I'm really not understanding, how could you retire from a job and then several years later retire again or celebrate priesthood? Well, I'm a dentist, right? So if I retire, let's say, 55. I don't think anybody would have a party for me at 70 just because I'm a dentist. So that's the special thing about being a priest. You get to do whatever you want, say whatever you want, and people will gather for the occasion. I'm allowed to say those things because I'm his nephew. So I don't think anybody would have the guts to come up here and talk about that. But I'm gonna lay it out. So I'm gonna take a little break now again because I don't know if this uh, video will last. So l let me just put a pause on this for a second. All right, here I am again. Again, I'm doing this in segments because I don't think that Uncle Louie knows how to uh, use Dropbox uh, to facilitate holding this entire video in one clip. So I thought I'd make it really easy for him. Now I'd like to talk about what Uncle Louie means to me and my family. Um, for my whole life, uh, the one person that I can look up to and trust with anything that might be going on in my life was him. Um, he was always allowed to explain and I say aloud because I wouldn't listen to anybody um, he was the one that was the voice of reason or the explanations why things may have not gone in the direction that I wanted them to go at any given point of time he was the guy that provided reason hope and justification when I questioned my faith. There were a lot of recent times when I did question my faith and he was able to essentially talk me off the ledge 
and tell me that it's God's plan. As much as I didn't want it to be God's plan, that's what it is. He has this ability to create a place in your heart that stays there permanently and reminds you that everything is going to be okay. Maybe it's from experience. Think about all those confessions he does. That would pretty much drive me crazy thinking that, sitting in a box, listening to people, the worst times of their life, how they lie, steal, break all those commandments. And then you tell them, I need you to say these prayers and God will forgive you. That's pretty cool. Do you learn that in the seminar? Okay, I'm back again. Does anybody notice anything different? I do. I just wanted to change it up. I was getting a little choked up in the last clip, so I figured I'd bring my plant. Um, so anyway, in closing, I'd like to say, Uncle Louie, congratulations. Uh, 50 years in the business that you're in is really a, a giant accomplishment. And uh, I hope that Another 50 years go by and I'm standing up here uh, talking about it and, you know, talking about all the people that you've touched, all the people that you've helped and all the wonderful things that you've done uh, in your life, including all the travel. I mean, I, how many places have you been to? I don't even I don't even bother asking you where you're going. I just ask you where you haven't been now, if you haven't noticed. I mean, there's nobody on earth that's more traveled than you are, at least that I know. Um, and I'm realizing why you've done that. All the different cultures that you were able to see, all the different places and people and languages that you've learned. I, you say you speak Italian and, and you do say a bunch of stuff that, well, I don't speak Italian, so there's no way of me translating it, but it looks like you're pretty fluent in Italian, uh, but who knows? Um, I was just, when I was a kid, somebody told me that you speak Italian and I believed them. Um, so, congratulations, Uncle Louie, I love you. God put me, put you in my life for a reason. I don't think that I would be the person I am without you. This is weird. I keep getting choked up talking about you. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. I've been a little emotional lately, you know, but thank you for all the wonderful gifts that you have given me. Um, over the years, you've made me a stronger husband, father, brother, son. Thank you. And everybody, listen, have a great time celebrating. I wish I could be there. I really do, but sometimes, as you know, life pulls you in a different direction and you really have no control over that. And that's, that's what I learned from you, Uncle Louie. So although I miss you from the bottom of my heart, I know this is where I'm supposed to be with my son at an event that is very, very, very important to him. So it's not that I'm taking priority. I'm doing what you taught me to do. I love you. Have a great time.
I bet you thought it was over.